All right, welcome. Today we're going to learn how to get started with our Universal Laser Engraver Model PLS 6.75. Hopefully you've already got CorelDRAW open. If not, the first thing you're going to want to do is to go ahead and open up CorelDRAW. And then once you've done that, come on over to File. And you're going to select New. And our model, the 6.75 PLS, has a width of 36. So make sure your width here says 36 and your height says 18 make sure your primary color mode says rgb 300 and all that good stuff and then go ahead and hit okay now if you notice our work area now has a width here of 0 to 36 inches and a height of 0 to 18 inches i'm going to go ahead and click on there and i'm going to change that so the vertical is in 18 and hit OK. And now I like this because my 0, 0 is right here in my top left corner. Now that our workspace is set up, let's go ahead and bring in our images that we're interested in. I like to drag them onto my workspace, but you can also go to File, Open if you wish. Okay, here's the logo I'm interested in, and it's always helpful to keep your logos black and white or something simple. Okay. Nothing too flashy. And then here's my uh, Corel Draw file that I'm interested in. And this is already in a vector format. So this is in a vector format. We don't need to convert anything. We do want to make it to hairline. So do that. Okay. And then over here, we have to make this into vector format. So we're going to come over here. I'm going to go to Trace Bitmap, Outline Trace. I'm going to do a high quality image. And we're going to hit. That looks good. Let's hit OK. All right. Now I need to scale my logo here so that it fits on my sign. So I'm going to kind of just shrink it down, hold down the shift button so it scales it proportionally. And that looks pretty good. Oops, and I forgot to mention, we need to delete our old image. So I'm going to delete that one because this is the vector format. This is the one we're interested in. It's the one we need. Okay. And I'm going to scale it down just a little more. Okay. Let me zoom in here. I'm going to move my sign outline over here. And I'm going to scale this a little smaller. Let's see if it fits on there. That's still a little big. So I'm going to shrink it down just a little more. Still too big. All right. Looking pretty good. Okay, so now before I do it, I want to go over here and I want to make it to hairline. Okay. Now there's three things we're interested in when we laser engrave. We can cut. Okay. And we can etch, which is sort of an outline. And we can just basically do a raster, which is do the fill. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to cut this sign. So we're going to click on this sign. Okay. And we're going to come over here and we're going to right click on red. Make sure it says R255 G0 B0. And then I'm going to right click on that. And this is going to tell the laser engraver to cut, okay, in this path, okay? And then I want to click on my logo here. And what I want to do to this logo is I want to etch it. I want to outline the edges essentially. So to do that, okay. Um, I'm going to come over here to the blue now and make sure the blue says R0, G0, and B255, and I'm going to right-click on that. And if you notice, okay, I'm going to zoom in just so you guys can see it. Okay, you notice that it's outlined in blue, okay? So what that's going to tell the laser is it's going to tell it to etch or kind of make a bold outline of our logo here, okay? So I'm going to click here. Now that it's pretty much ready to go, um, I'm going to move it onto my sign here and kind of center it. 
use the arrows to kind of get it just right on your keyboard. And I'm going to zoom out just to see where I'm at. Okay. And I'm going to move it in the corner here, sort of. So, okay. And there we go. All right. Now we're pretty much ready to print. Okay. So remember, red's going to cut. Okay, blue is going to kind of do the etching along the outside to make it kind of a bold highlight. And then black is going to do our fill. That's what we're telling our machine, our laser engraver to do. All right, so now what you're going to want to do, and make sure your laptop's plugged into uh, the printer. We're going to go to print. Okay, but before we print, we're going to adjust some settings. Okay, make sure it says PLS 6.75 here and then go to preferences. Okay. Now this is where you would tell the laser engraver what type of material you're using. Are you using ceramic, foam, glass? Well, in our case, we're using plastic acrylic. So we're gonna, we would uh, basically click on plastic. Whoop. And we'd want acrylic and we'd want extruded acrylic here. And the thickness of our acrylic is a quarter inch, an eighth inch, excuse me, 0.125. Okay, so make sure you set that because just by telling you that, by telling it the material thickness, the machine knows how powerful to shoot the laser in order to cut it. All right, and some of the things I like to do is I like to just crank up the power a little bit on my vector cutting so it will cut the plastic. And then the vector engraving or etching, I like to just kind of make that outline, that blue outline, a little bit more bold and stand out compared to the raster. And the raster is just the fill, okay? So I'm gonna hit apply and okay. All right. And then print. Okay, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come on down to the side here and turn it on. Okay, and go ahead and open up the laser engraver. And for now, just place the material, wood, acrylic, whatever, anywhere for now. Okay. Okay, so we hit print. We turn the machine on. The lid is open. Uh, let's see here. We put our material... This is clear acry acrylic in here. You can't, might not be able to see it because it's clear, but it's in here. So our material is in the laser engraver. All right, so now um, we want to open up the UCP software. Okay, go ahead and open it up. And there's a couple things we need to know here. So first, we need to make sure that our material is two inches from the laser. Okay, in order to do this, Here's what we need to do. Okay, you'll see this guy right over here. Okay, this is for leveling it essentially. So the laser is exactly two inches. So this part right here, this little lip right here needs to be right there. So it's not. So if we set it on our material, we need to raise our bed up until it hits right there, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to hit this up arrow right here where it says raise the engraving table. And it looks like about right there. Let's see here. Oh, a little more ways to go. A little ways to go here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and put this guy back. We're now two inches from the laser. Uh, or, excuse me, the laser is now two inches from the material. All right. Um, but the thing is, is we need to know where. Okay. I'm going to move this. To move the 
to move your logo, okay, use this guy right over here, and I'm going to move it kind of over here in the corner. Okay, so, and you want to home in your X and Y before you start as well. So before you laser, before you start and you hit play here, make sure you home the X and Y axes first. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so it's going to take a second for our green. Oh, there we go. And now this focus view will move the laser wherever you want it. So let's move the laser directly to the middle of our sign here. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm going to move it to the top corner to see where it, it goes. Okay, over here, top right corner, bottom right bottom left and it looks good our lid is open we can do a dry run so let's go ahead and hit play now just to see what happens okay and it's going to start laser engraving and you can see the image right here as it laser engraves it tells you the progress in terms of um, how far along it's coming. Okay, it looks good. So what it's going to do is it's going to do the, the raster fill first, and then it will do the etching and the cutting last. So let's go ahead and hit pause now. When you're ready to roll, okay, make sure, because we're doing plastic, Okay, we come over here, we turn on our fume extraction here to suck out all the smoke particles, dust particles. Okay, now let's go ahead and shut it. Okay. And let's start it.